Hey everybody, Selena here with Design to Destiny at selenamccroskey.com. Just recently, I got my daughter a new math curriculum. Now, I try my hardest not to be a curriculum jumper. <laughs> you know, always looking for the perfect curriculum, the next perfect, the next perfect. Um, because I have learned there is no perfect curriculum. There's good things about almost every curriculum. You just kind of have to find the pieces that work. But um, recently, I've never found anything, I've never found anything that I really liked for my daughter in math. She's, she's learned and she's done what I've asked and she's progressed, but there's not been anything that's really just matched her style of learning. Um, she's a little more artistic, loves color, all that kind of thing. And so I know there's a lot out there, but I did go and check out the Good and the Beautiful's new math curriculum. We use their language curriculum and both of my kids have done extremely well with that setup and that structure. And so I wanted to take a look at the math curriculum as well. Now, my son is in fifth grade and so there's not a level cur math curriculum from the Good and the Beautiful to match that. But um, for my daughter, level two was, seemed to be right on par. And I had gone to their website to look at the um, assessment, kind of to see what level she would be at. And they are just coming out with level two right now. The first half of the workbook is out. And then at the beginning of 2020, the next portion of the workbook will be out. So it's just perfect timing for us. But since it is so brand new, I wanted to share it with you because I just got it recently. And I know a lot of times people will want to see what they're getting before they order it. And so I wanted to help you out with that and show you exactly what you get when you purchase the level two set with of math with the good and the beautiful. So let's take a look at what you get. Okay, so what you get are these three things. You get a math activity kit, which is cute. Love the little um, suitcase looking look to it. And then you get a level two course book, which this is the part one. Um, part two, like I said, will be coming out at the beginning of 2020. And then you get a My Weekly Planner that, um, well, it's just what it says. It is a planner. So we'll look at that here in a second. But you get those three things. And so we'll take a quick peek at each one of them. Okay, so the thing that is the most fun, of course, I find the most fun, is the math activity box. And this comes when you order the set for level two. It can be purchased separately, but I just did the whole set. I'm learning, that's a better thing to do. So when you open this up, you have a lot of fun things inside of here. So this I put in here because it was in the back of the book and they told us to keep it for later. So it's a good place for storage. You've got <clears throat> your different color chips that will help with negative. There's some 10-sided uh, dice in there for some of the games. Um, it comes with a little set of, let's see if I can get that to focus, domino cards. We are probably just going to use our, we have a domino set, so we'll just use our dominoes, but that's in there, so that could be nice. Um, and then there's base 10 blocks in here that I will punch out and put into these bags. You get some three-dimensional um, wood figures for learning the 3D, 2D stuff. You get a clock. Obviously, you can move the times and all that. And it's pretty, I mean, it's it's sturdy, it's wood. And then a little tape measure, just basic little tape measure. You have a, sorry, this is backwards, a My Place Value chart. So this is bound and it's laminated. You can see it shine. So I'm sure we'll be doing, you know, putting the base 10 rods and stuff on there like that. And then I haven't punched everything out, but here you can see there's 10 frame cards. Okay, and then further in here you've got we just we used this one the other day um, learning parallel lines intersecting lines and so they have a fun little story about a paper route that a boy runs on his bicycle and and so it's very real life and it just immerses them and really gets them into the story and then more numbers with the hundreds and the tens and such place value cards okay and then excuse me there are a bunch of tangrams so tangrams is a big thing on this one so these they're different levels so like these, they, they show you what makes it. And so it's a little bit easier. And then you go a little farther in that and you get things such as this, that just give you the shape. So then you have to fill it in, which is a little bit more advanced. And as you can see, there's just a bunch, a bunch of those. And so 
so we'll get past those. Okay, and then you have, like you can see over here on the back, and they are front and back, so you're getting a lot of stuff. These are some of their game boards. Okay, so review games, learning games, there's a lot of those to be done. All right, and then you can see a 10 frame on the back of this one, a double 10 frame for 20s and such. So a lot of resources that, for my daughter, just the fact the brilliant colors and the textures of these things really pull her in, and I think that's one of the reasons why I think this is going to be so good for her. Okay. Now, I haven't even opened this yet. But um, if you can tell, there are a bunch of um, punch outs. Okay, so there's a lot of punch out resources with the fractions and the shapes. And I haven't looked at, you know, you can tell from the back that these are probably the, the 10 rods and the 100 rods and such. <clears throat> so, those are the things that are in the math activity box that I think my daughter is going to have a lot of fun interacting with. So this is the course book itself, and like I mentioned, it is part one. Part two will be coming out at the beginning of 2020, I believe. Sure hope I'm saying that right, but I'm pretty sure. And you can go to the Good and the Beautiful uh, website to double check that timing. But I wanted to show you inside because it's so nice to see if even the look and the feel of the setup is going to match your students' learning. So inside, I'm just going to jump to um, one of the lessons. Okay. So here's one of the lessons, and this is pretty typical. They have something right here called the daily dose, okay? And so on the daily dose, it's just writing the date is big, and then just practicing some of your review. And then see here, this one, they're continuing on, continuing on the story of the newspaper kid and him. So they're incorporating everything into that story still yet again in lesson two, so it just builds and, and really, um, pulls my daughter into the lessons. And then, you know, what I like is um, the, the words in the blue are for you, the word just to know, and the words in the black are the things that you say to your student. My daughter loves these little checkoff boxes. There's several on a page and it just makes her feel like she's accomplishing things. And so she really likes that. Like this is a practice one, so you cut these off and put them in the right place. There's just a lot of ways to interact with this. And so I'm just gonna kind of flip through here. Let you see, I mean, it's pretty much set up the same way every lesson, so you've got a daily dose, your lesson portion, and then after the lesson, there's always a student worksheet, and then sometimes there are bonus activities. So, um, and then there's, I love these as well, okay? Every so often you get a lesson that's about a, a mathematician, so it's not all, just about numbers and calculating, there's a richness and a depth to this that I really like. Um, I taught math for 10 years at a public school. I tutor math, I've been teaching my kids math at home. So I just, I appreciate the depth of this curriculum. I appreciate the colorfulness of this curriculum and um, for the price they offer it, just to know how much color went into it. I mean, it's, it's really quality and I appreciate that. So um, here's kind of a skip counting activity. So I hope that, I know I didn't do a great flip through there, but I hope that just kind of gives you an idea of all the different ways that um, they can practice, that they're interacting with the material. And so I'm excited. I'm excited to see, um, already we've just done one lesson, but, she, but my daughter was very into it. She was very cooperative, if you will, in doing the lesson and doing a lot. Um, a lot more than she normally would do, simply because it was engaging, and so I appreciate that a lot. Okay, this is the weekly planner that comes with it, and this is the one I wasn't, because you can order these elements separately, or you can mark one off as you don't want that to be included, and this is one I wasn't too sure about. Wasn't sure how it worked, what it was all about. Um, the very beginning of it is talking about the fact that time is a gift. It's a resource that God has given us, and so just like learning how to use your money resources wisely, this planner is set up to help your students learn to use their time resource wisely. And so really the, the crux of this that I noticed is um, the kids take the time to, to put the dates in. So like we're in November now, that was a good flip. 
we're in November, so what she's gonna do is put down these, or since we're so close, I may just wait till December. But anyway, you number the month, and the idea is they use this calendar to help them fill in the date on the daily dose in the course book, but you could use it for a number of other things as well. But behind the month calendar, they have the appropriate number of my weekly plan. So specifically, this gives you the individual days, which you can write the date underneath, and then it gives you an hourly schedule. And so their goal is for your student to be able to begin to fill in those hourly schedules by block timing. So from eight to 10 in the morning, I'll be doing school, and then I'll be doing lunch, and then I have a dentist appointment. So it's really them starting to learn how to block off their time to whatever level they can. And that is the crux of this. There are cute little things on the side for each week. Just some very good, very beautiful, if you will, um, things to read each week. And uh, But that is basically what that is to help you decide if that's a piece you want to purchase or not. Um, honestly, we're just going to see how it goes for us. And she may totally enjoy it and we'll buy another one for the next year. But I don't know. At this point, I don't know. So, but that is what it is, and I'm glad I got it so I could see it and so I could share it and show it to you guys. So, that is the weekly planner that comes with level two, and I believe level one math as well, but I know for certain this is the level two weekly planner. So, that is a quick glance at the math level two from the good and the beautiful. I hope that helps you get an idea of what you will get when you purchase the math level two set and things that you may or may not need or may or may not want or just help you make a decision in total of if this is a good fit for your student. I'm so glad you joined me for this. I hope it helped. Walk on, walk strong, and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.